Hi, let's see how to fix the, the death training internal system error occurred. If you have stumbled upon the error, you would likely to encounter this frustrating error internal system error occurred on death training game. But we are not, we are here to help you with the solution. So let's see what causes the internal system error occurred on death training. There are several reasons why you are encountering this error message in the dead stranding it's essential means that the game has encountered an unforeseen problems within your gaming system this can manifest in very various ways like game crashes connectivity issues access violation errors desync audio making it common concern among the players the full error message reads in internal system error occurred an access violation has error occurred a threat worker by at the instruction location the first cause is outdated graphic drivers, the second cause is hardware compatibility, the third cause is software conflicts. So let's see how to fix the internal system error occurred on the dead string. The first method is check hardware compatibility requirements. Firstly, ensure that your PC or the gaming console meets the minimum system requirements for the dead stranding. If your system does not meet these requirements, attempting any of the resolutions would not work. So start by confirming the specific configurations of your system. This is the minimum configuration what is required for your system, but it's always recommended to have a better configuration, which is a more than the required configuration. Second method is update the graphic drivers of game developers and the graphic card manufacturers release the drivers updates, fix the known issues and the bugs. These updates can help you to solve internal errors of crashes in the game for nvidia card users download and install the nvidia geforce experience open the program and click on driver menu now download the driver update click on download button below once the download is done you click on quick installation button to install after installation restart your system for amd graphic card users follow these three steps sequentially one by one the third method is verify the game files if the issue persists, verify the integrity of the game files in your gaming platform. Corrupted files can lead to the errors. Okay, so for stream, launch the stream next to next. You can either right click the game in your library or click the icon from the game's library page on the far right from the top down menu. Select properties, select the install files tab, click verify integrity of the game files option. Steam will verify the game files. This process may take several minutes. For the Epic Game Launcher, go to the library, open the Epic Game Launcher, find the game's library, click on these three dots of the game line, select manage, click verify option, we wait for the validation to complete. For the PlayStation users, PlayStation users can verify a repair game by files by clicking the current data and resolving it using the rebuild database option. This process is effective in addressing the various issues, including the corrupt data files. In order to do that, follow these six steps sequentially one by one. Okay, and the fourth method is restart dead stranding. Sometimes simple restarting a game can resolve the internal network issues. For these simple steps to restart the game, exit the game on your device using the in-game menu. Most games have the exit or the quit options in the main menu. Click on that. Now turn off your console or PC to power it back on. To restart the game, locate the Death Stranding game on your PC or in your console. Click on it to launch the game again. Okay, and the fifth method is run as administrator. This can sometimes help to resolving certain compatibility issues or accessing the certain features that require administrative permission. Find the directory where the Death Stranding is installed. Compare the default installation path is typically program files dead stranding within the game installation folder look for the executable files dead stranding.exe once you have located the game's executable file right click on it in the context menu that appears after right clicking select run as administrator this will launch the game and administrative privileges if the user account control settings are enabled you may be prompted to confirm that you want to run application as administrator click yes to proceed sixth method is disable overlocking Overlocking can make you the system unstable and can cause the issues with the game if you are overlocked. 
for GPU or CPU try reverting to the default clock speeds for CPU overlocking you can typically do this by restarting your computer or by pressing specific keys either F2 or F12 during the boot up process inside the BIOS UEFE settings locate the CPU overlocking overclocking settings these settings can be labeled as CPU ratio multiple layer or the clock speed set these values back to the default settings which are typically labeled as auto uh, base clock speed of the CPU after making these necessary changes save the settings and exit the BIOS UEFI now restart your system okay for CPU overclocking follow these four steps sequentially one by one the seven method is install the visual C++ redistributable Installing the visual C++ redistributable may help you in address the network issues in the dead stranding by ensuring the necessary runtime components are available on your system. This fix has been recommended by many players on the Reddit and the Steam community as well. The eighth method is close the background application set of third party background applications that are in down can cause the internal system network errors. You can disable them from running the background. Some of the steps for the PC and the PlayStation to close the application process, press the control shift escape then uh, to open the task manager, go to process tab, click on the applications or the processes you want to close, click on any task to stop it. For PlayStation, uh, on the home screen, find the application you want to close, highlight it and press the option button on your controller. Choose close application to shut down. The ninth method is contact the support team. Okay, if you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you are still facing problem, you can contact the support team. There is the email address where you can contact, contact at kojimaproductions.jp. Okay, otherwise you can also reach out to them through their Twitter, Twitter account. Okay, so this is the Twitter account. And uh, you can also contact them through the support team of the Death Stranding in the particular website. Deathstranding.com file not file games.com okay so that's all about this thank you